welcome to Taft's Well. Um, this is a station up uh, north of Cardiff and it is fair to say today I'm certainly not going to see any trains. Uh, we have rail replacement buses for uh, works that are going on all week and I kind of picked the wrong day but it doesn't matter because what I want to see is not what's here now but what was here once upon a time. Let me explain to you a little bit more about what this place is and what it's all about. It is a fascinating part of the world. Um, there is a gap in the hills here which is about 200-250 meters wide through which anybody building any form of transport had to get their method through. So hence there's a canal that was built here and then there were five different railway companies ran their train services through, around, or in one case above this place. It's large village, small town, I don't know what you would call it, but it became a very, very important place in the history of railways. This is not going to be uh, an in-depth look at every single uh, railway and company and everything that went through, but just a quick overview, because as I said, there were five, plus a canal, plus a river. I don't think it's only fair we have a quick look at all of them. The first line that was built was this one still in existence today, the Taff Vale Railway. I have called this the Taff Valley Railway so many times and I may call it again sometime in this video and I apologize. It was built in, eight, opened in 1840, having been built by a gentleman in a top hat that you may know of called Isambard Kingdom Brunel. He was the main engineer. He laid it to narrow gauge as it was in those days, standard days, gauge these days. And at one point there were four tracks that came down through here. It is still the only railway left that's running through Taft's Wells. The other four are no more. Line number two was the Rumney Railway, and I've covered this in a previous video. The Rumney Railway Company wanted to get their goods down to Cardiff and down to the docks, just as everybody else did, and again needed to get through this gap. In 1858 they built a line that came down from Caerphilly through Penrose and connected with Taft's Well at Walnut Tree Junction. They ran coal trains, but it also ran a couple of passenger trains, which ended up in their original terminus at Adam Street in Cardiff. So today, the track bed of the Rumney Railway is a footpath. It's part of the Taft Trail. It is actually, because of various reasons, which I shall reveal later, it's blocked off at the bottom end. You can probably hear the A470 make a huge noise. Uh, the A470 was responsible for the destruction of a couple of railways and canals in this area. But we're coming down to the railway bridge that goes over that road. And beyond that, it curves down and into Taft's Well. Seems that we are talking Rumley Railway. Uh, that's up there. Um, when I walked up before, I didn't feature this, and I think it's only fair I do, because this is, this is a lovely little bridge. Just take a look at this. Just an overbridge, the line going over the top. Um, really pretty little thing. So typical of so many, oh, nice echo, that you still find uh, around Wales today. You'll just drive down a road and all of a sudden, oh, look, bridge. This is what I was talking about earlier on, um, when you, you suddenly come around a corner and I'm like, oh, look, nice bridge. Here's yet another footbridge. i just come across. And this again is over the Rumney line, which is up there. This is a really nice little, again, very good condition. It's nice parapets leading up to it. And this is just simply taking a footpath uh, through and having gone through all sorts of diversions I just noticed there is a scramble path down on the other side of this but probably wouldn't have used it so nice bridge so for more about the Rumney Railway as I say I've done a video I think I, I should pop it up there or I should pop it at the end or somewhere um, and I'll tell you I walked the whole of this part from Taftwell right up to Penrose Junction and told the story of it as I went up there I've also been to line number three. Um, I went there about 18 months ago and did a film and I actually went last weekend, hence the continuity of the t-shirt, so I apologize. But line number three, I had to go and climb a hill. So railway number three was the Barry Railway. 
Now, I've been up here before, and for those of you who are wondering where I am, I'm sitting up on a, a rock shelf, which is above Tafswell, and at one end is this rather spectacular tunnel, comes past the remains of a plate layers hut, and then this, which I quite wrongly in my last video, and I did a video about this a year ago, said was uh, the plate layers hut. It's not, it's a signal box. And if you look at this, you can see this was a chimney that went up to the fireplace on the second floor of the signal box. How did I miss that? I got that completely wrong. Now the Barry Railway built this because they wanted to reach the Romney Valley and to get there they had to go through Taft's Well and through the Gap and so if you can't go uh, through it or under it you go over it and that's what they did and they built Walnut Tree Viaduct which was a rather magnificent viaduct. The tunnel would have come down here along this bit here and then right here this big chunk of masonry is the entrance to uh, the Vardut and you can see if you look at this photograph here this is what I'm looking at right here now we've had a tree down we've had some undergrowth grow so what used to be really nice and open a year ago is now very much shut off number four was the Cardiff Railway Company. Now this was the name that was adopted by the Butte Dock Company and uh, they just called themselves the Cardiff Railway Company after that. They wanted to build a line from their docks up towards the Rhondda Valley and hopefully capture some of the coal market. They were late to the scene and didn't actually arrive in Taft's Well until 1911. It entered Taft's Wells around the edges and rather than go uh, through the middle where the current railway, the Taff Vale and the Romney was, it decided to go effectively put a route around it, under it, and kind of weaving as you can see from this map. And it would have come over this bridge here. There was a bit of a power bit further up, but apart from that, when I've gone searching for the track bed, found kind of nothing really at all. What I thought was a bridge turned out to be an access road. And you could see, here we go, Cardiff Railway Bridge, parapet, would have come over there. However, the other parapet on the other side is now a builder's yard. Like so many relics in Wales now, very, very overgrown. You can see up there would have been some sort of, uh, uh, some sort of part of it. Um, but this, behind all that ivy there is some very nice stonework. You can't really see it but out the back of there uh, behind that fence there's a gap and we're going to go up and find the top of it but there is a bridge and the Cardiff Railway would have gone underneath that bridge because where we are is back at line number two which is the Romney Railway line the one that came down and joined up with uh, the Taff Vale at Walnut Tree Junction. And of course they had to get past it, so hence they built an overbridge. And so, here we go. Um, I had to deviate all over the place for various reasons, paths are closed and that sort of thing. Um, but this is the branch, this is the bridge over the Cardiff Railway. Uh, notice it's, it's two track, would have taken two tracks because this line is the Romney. Um, I would have taken both tracks down towards Tass well in that direction behind me is the climb up to uh, towards Caerphilly. And this bridge was uh, built when the railway was built in the uh, early 1900s and took the Cardiff railway line underneath uh, underneath this railway. It's quite solid metal, well graffitied. And beyond this it would have gone through what are now some allotments, uh, climbed back up again and gone over the canal. I'm not climbing down here too much, um, but there we go. Here's the underside of the bridge. There's the cutting. Actually a lot clearer than it was when I came up here, been up here previously. Um, 
and nice solid bridge in fairly good condition and parapets. Line number five, I had to go across the river and again I filmed this last weekend. Railway number five is actually probably one of the earliest there's been and to get there we need to go across the Taff and up to somewhere where again I visited in a previous video. And here it is, the track bed of the Mellon Griffiths and Penturk Railway, built originally as a tramway to serve the, uh, the tin works at Mellon Griffiths. It connected to various forges, various different uh, ironworks, mines and all sorts. And in 1871, it was converted to a railway. I'm walking along the track bed right now, but as you can see, it kind of turns into a bit of a stream. Good reason for that. What you can see here was a transshipment bay and the water that's pouring down the side here. And if I managed to cross this, I got my boots on today. For those of you who watched the video before, I think I said about every 10 minutes, I haven't got my boots. Got my boots today. It's come around this side here. There's a waterfall here. And all of this is mine workings. And in actual fact, right here, what looks like an insignificant little archway, this is entrance to a mine level. Uh, and this was a coal mine into here. And the transshipment bay was there, which then linked up to the railway, which was over here. I couldn't get over here before because it was too muddy. Let's uh, have a look at this close up. This is would have dated from probably the 1840s, 1850s. Um, and it would have been uh, literally the coal coming out. And I'm assuming there would have been some sort of metal rods in there, which would have um, allowed the trucks to be loaded or something similar. Zoom out a bit if I can. A bit wide and there we go right in the middle of the forest uh, coal transit shipment bay and so one town five railways but that's not the only way freight and goods were transferred through Taft's well there is one more method that was used and that was over the other side of the bridge so let's go wander and have a look at that the Glamorganshire Canal was actually opened in the late 1790s and ran from Merthyr um, all the way down to Cardiff. I've featured a couple of bits in various videos I've done both in Cardiff and north of Cardiff of what's left of the canal. Um, and there's very little, if anything, to show here. But I have found something which I find curious and question whether or not this might actually have been a relic of the Glamorganshire Canal. So take a little look at this. I spotted this last time I was up here and I just wanted to come back and look at this because this bridge itself, the A470, was put in in the 1960s, 1970s. And yet this stone work here, I'm sorry, but that's a lot older, significantly older. Obviously that's breeze block there, but this is quite old looking stonework. And this would possibly have been the original stonework for the original bridge of the Romney Railway that came over the canal. Because at this point, this is where the canal was, which the A470, which you can see running in the background, destroyed. And it's also the same on this side, hidden behind metal fencing. But there we go. Is that possibly part of the original canal bridge if you know please comment below because when i look at the maps and do the side by side it looks as though the canal was narrower at this point and yet i've driven through this bridge so many times and both sides look as though they are old stone and it's wondering whether or not that was actually um the canal original canal bridge maybe they kind of took one side down moved it back a bit not quite sure if you know please comment below so climbing up uh, uh, over the footbridge over the a470 
you could see this bridge uh, as I say quite modern put in in the 70s 60s 70s and then if you take a look at this parapet here this would very probably be have been part of the old canal bridge but uh, if you know different and I'm wrong please let me know five railways one canal and I'm forgetting the river Taff itself all going through one narrow gap now throughout this video you may have heard a lot of work going on and there is a very good reason for that take a look at these track works because what's being built behind me is this and what's being stabled here are these class 398 Stadler City Link tram trains and these will be operating soon on services up through Cardiff, through Taft's Well, up to Pontypridd, and then up all around the valleys. It is a major piece of work. This, not just the depot, but the engineering they are doing. And the reason there's no trains today is because all of this is shut. All up here is shut. Uh, there's some talk that the potentially some of the wires may get energized soon, a bit further down. There are whole chunks of this line, uh, the line between Pontypridd and Triorchy, which is shut entirely for eight months because they had old Victorian lock signaling up there they need to put loops in extend platforms all sorts of things so as a result it's no longer happening it's shutting down completely and when it opens these trams behind me will be operating up there it is an exciting time for um, a large village small town in the Welsh valleys that already has a place in history are there any other places that had five different railway companies and a canal passing through it if there are i'd like to hear but certainly in wales maybe not i'll be back out for more soon uh making more videos about goodness knows what so until next time